Hi, Air Science, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising, and those cross watching, and welcome to your tarot love messages. Today, we're going to take a take a look at and see what is that that will happen if you cut ties with this person. So, this reading here is more so tailored to those of you that are in a relationship. And you've been thinking about walking away or disconnecting from this person. So we'll take a look at and see what just might happen if you do decide to do that. It still remains a general reading, guys. So please just be mindful of that. If you're after a personalized tarot reading, one is that one in which it is specifically tailored to you and your situation. Feel free to reach out. My email address is going to be listed just below the video here where the show more section is. Okay, so on that note, let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle and begin. There's a lot of fire that's present in your energy here. And fire, of course, is a very primal type of energy here. So I can see that there is still, there's quite um, an intense attraction or a connection that you share with this individual, which of course makes it very hard for you to pull away. Because even if you know you're at a point with this individual where you have to walk away, okay, um, where you know things may be drawing to an end here, the fact that there's flames that still flicker and burn quite brightly between the two of you is what's making it really hard for you to just disconnect or just detach with this person. So there's still that, this is quite an emotional intensity, okay? And there's still that intense attraction, connection that you share with one another. If you do walk away here, this person, I feel like they're going to react very strongly but they won't necessarily show that or try and give that away because there's a lot of pride with the empress energy and i feel like they may even be a little bit stone-faced okay but they will feel a deep sense of rejection here if you do walk away okay more so from you because there is that attraction because in their mind here they were building a future with you okay or the two of you were talking about sharing a future so if you walk away to them, it's like you're pulling, or if you cut ties, you're pulling a rug from underneath, from underneath their feet. It's like everything, not only do you walk away here from them, guys, you also walk away from, you also walk away and take with you all the visions that the two of you have built up. You know, all the dreams, the visions, and the plans that you spoke about. You're also taking that with you. So they're going to feel an immense sense of loss here. There's a lot of emotional insecurity around their energy here. And I'm seeing that this person may have experienced some abandonment issues in the past um, or some rejection here. And it's something that I feel like they struggle with. But that's, some, that's something that they're going to have to work on their own. This isn't something that you can help them with, unfortunately. It is something that they're going to have to do some work on themselves here. But that's going to cause a bit of emotional insecurity in their energy. There's a feeling of abandonment, a feeling of coldness. Again, how they will react and what will happen is they probably won't react very strongly to your face here. They probably may act very cool, very detached. They may even come across as very cold, okay? So they'll project an image to you like they're not faced by your decision to walk away or by your decision to, you know, stop talking to them. They'll come across as if to say, you know, they're good without you. They're doing just fine without you and, um, you know, they're good on their own. But deep inside, my goodness, there's an internal war, a battle that's going on with them. But they don't want you to see that because maybe they grew up thinking that if you show too much emotion, it's a weakness. Or, you know, maybe for them, it's a sense of control. They want to feel or at least project the image of being in control of who they are and most importantly, their emotions here. They'll go into a bit of a hermit mode as well from what I can see and I feel like... 
when you walk away, and as I've mentioned, everything that you take with you on the way out, to them, it's going to really put them in a mental space where they're really going to do a lot of deep thinking about themselves, about how they acted towards you in the connection, about the actions that took, they took, the things that they said or perhaps didn't even say. They're going to go into a bit of this recluse kind of energy where they're really going to pull away here. They're also going to spend a lot of time fighting their feelings here. Okay. Now, I don't know, maybe some of you had this conversation where the both of you agreed that it may just be in your best interest to just give this connection a break or just to separate because there's just a lot of disagreeing, a lot of fighting or things just aren't working out for whatever reason. Um, and even though they may have said something similar to you of that nature, they don't believe it, guys. They don't. They don't. They don't even believe the very things that they think they do because deep inside this person is going to go on a bit of a, a hermit journey on a bit of a lonely journey here where they're going to do a lot of analysis self-analysis and a lot of reflecting and a lot of thinking back on the times that you guys shared and you guys <clears throat> memories you guys created excuse me I'm losing my voice notice the two of wands as well here because um, they saw a future with you and all of a sudden you know, they're back to just being on their own. They're back to just it being them. And what do they do with themselves? You know, it's it's going to put them in a very lonely space, a very lonely kind of energy. And they'll really, and I do mean really, feel your absence here. Walking, I feel like you'll go through a period where there will be no contact or no communication with this person. And it's going to be difficult. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it's not, okay? It is going to be difficult for you, but it's going to be difficult for them. It may be more difficult for you because the image of their projecting, okay? And that might hurt you in a sense because you feel like, oh, okay, well, why are they acting like they don't care? Or, you know, why are they not responsive? Why aren't they communicating or texting me? Why aren't they, you know, fighting for this connection? They are, but it's just happening on the inside, okay, for the time being. So that might hurt you. Don't be fooled by their cold exterior. Don't be fooled by this cold, icy energy with the Five of Pentacles. They're hurting, but you know, as they say, people that are hurt tend to hurt others uh, the most. So the fact that they're hurting by your decision to walk away, they're going to react very cold in nature. And that's their way of projecting their hurt onto you because they want you to feel the pain that they're feeling, the hurt, the rejection that they're feeling here. So you go, um, you're going to go through this period of no communication. It may stretch on for weeks. It may stretch on for months. You won't hear from them. If you do, it's going to be just very cold, icy communication to the point where it's very emotionless. It's like there's no love language there whatsoever. But then what's going beneath the surface with them is they're battling here. They're battling their emotions. They're on a journey of self-reflection. Okay, And that's going to take some time for them. It's going to be different for each individual. And then after they do all of that, bam, eight of wands energy, they come rushing back. They start realizing what they lost in you. They start realizing just how much of the future you, you, know, you take away with you when you leave. They start realizing all the feelings that they've had for you and how they've been suppressing those feelings and how they've mistreated you in the past. And then I see communication flooding back in. And this person all of a sudden decides to come back in towards you. And there's such a sense of urgency. It's like they want to redeem themselves. They want to hold themselves accountable. Um, they want to make things right. They want to right their wrong here. They want to give this another go. They don't want to lose you. Okay, so... And sometimes it takes that. Sometimes it takes walking away from someone to make them realize just what they had in you. I know you're probably wishing you could skip this part and they could realize this now. I get it. But sometimes it doesn't happen that way, guys. It doesn't. Sometimes it takes a whole lot of pain for someone to realize just how emotionally invested and just how much they're in love with someone. It takes a whole lot of drama and theatrics and circumstances to get to you know a good place and it's going to take a little bit of that maybe even a lot of that for your person here so you know in a way and the irony is you walking away here guys in the end might potentially bring the two of you closer the irony right 
All right, guys, and these are your messages. So thank you as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing, or commenting. If you're interested in a personal reading, feel free to connect. Otherwise, bye for now.